This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Welcome to the channel, my name is Helen Ibe. Today I'm going to be showing you around my creative space. I've been putting this off for the longest time. I was thinking that I don't have enough space, I don't have enough stuff to show around, at least that was what I was thinking. Then I got some stuff, it wasn't enough, and I got more stuff, and it still wasn't enough. It will never be enough if I keep putting it off. So I'm going to show you around. It's a small room and every single inch of this place is used. Every single corner of this room is a set. So this place is my workstation. It's the actual studio where I do my editing, mixing, or like tone searching, or you know, administrative work. So I'm gonna show you around, starting with this set. But before that, I wanna tell you about the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, dip in existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. Skillshare is designed specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads. They're always launching new premium classes. It doesn't matter your skill level, beginner to pro to guru, they have it all. I'm currently taking a how to mix music masterclass with Grammy nominated legendary audio engineer Young Guru. So far I've learned a lot from organizing a mix to adding effects to tonal balance. I also have my eyes on the DIY cinematography classes by filmmaker Ryan Booth. I love to learn something new every week while maintaining flexibility of time and Skillshare is a great platform to do just that. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. Less than $10 a month with an annual subscription fee. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership to explore your creativity. How cool is that? This is really all there is to this space. It's really tiny, but I try to make it work. I don't have much, but I think I have some pretty cool stuff. I'm going to start with the monitors. This is the Adam Audio A7X. The first thing I love about them is that the knobs are at the front. So everything I have to do is just easily accessible. If I want to reduce or increase the volume, I can just easily do so. These monitors are really clear, really precise. If you want a true mix, um, I think that these are the closest. Moving on, this is my desk. <laughs> Yes, that is it. Tiny, tiny desk. There's nothing to it at all. I just have my laptop there, which is connected to this TV, just so I can have more like a, a bigger screen. <laughs> That's my little coffee mug. On the desk is also the Apollo Twin that I just got. Like they say, big gear, big problems. <laughs> it's not as easy as using my Scarlett. I just plug it in and I'm good to go. This one has this whole console that you have to learn about Jesus but once you get the hang of it I think that it's pretty easy and it's so interesting the plugins are amazing here I have the Sony headphones I think that these are really common ones the dynamic stereo headphones uh, they're really nice but I think that it's a bit trebly when I mix in I try to um, turn up the bass just a little bit because this this headphones are deceiving. And there we have the Shaw microphone. I just got this on my birthday because I felt like I needed a good dynamic mic and I've never used this one before but I see that everybody's using it. I kind of bought it out of peer pressure because <laughs> I don't know all the cool guys have it and I want to be cool. I think that it takes some getting used to but once you've got the hang of it you'll be fine. Over here on the wall there are three beautiful guitars hanging on the wall. 
Three beautiful guitars hanging on the wall. One's a fender, the second's orange wood, and the third's a PRS hanging on the wall. <laughs> anyway, on the wall is um, the Fender Acoustasonic Jazz Master. This one is a guitar that you guys have not seen on my channel before because it's new. This is Ava by Orange Wood. This is definitely one of the best acoustic guitars I've ever played. More on that later. Um, the, that that will be my next video actually. And then the third, of course, is my recent video, which I just did a demo of. The PRS Custom 2408 in this gorgeous Eriza Verde. Eriza Verde. Over here is the M Audio Oxygen 49 MIDI keyboard. I'm not much of a pianist, but sometimes when I just want to get inspired, I could make beats or like just play the little that I know on the piano and just, you know, inspire and encourage myself and just have fun because that's what all this is about, right? So there we have it for this set. This happens to be my favorite spot. This is so me. I don't feel under pressure to do anything. It doesn't feel like work. For me, this set is just really welcoming. It's where I chill. It's where I lounge. I can watch a movie. I can read a book. I could like just sit and chat with my sister and just have fun. I made this shelf myself, by the way, and there are cute little things on it. There is the little guitar lamp that has many different colors. I love it. Um, it's really cool. There's a little um, Dan Electro Robock overdrive pedal, and there's a fake lens because I make videos. And then there's a there's a globe. Um, I like it because. It just depicts the world, how small it could be, and how making videos just reach people all over the world. There's a fake plant because I can't maintain a real one in this room. There's no sunlight, and the poor thing will probably just die. And there's a colorful lamp. I like lamps. I like colors. So why not? And of course, there is the Helen eBay sign on this letterbox. Somewhere at the back there is a picture of my family and a Bible. Oh, there's a giraffe. Giraffes are my favorite animals. Because I'm a hopeless romantic, there's this painting of two lovers just walking in the woods. This appears to be Canada. I like Canada. I think it's a beautiful country. And yeah, there's just two two lovers one day it will be me and my lover <laughs> i also have the mpk mini the akai mpk mini because you know you can just you can just travel with it you can just whip it up and do something it's just very handy and it's close by and when people ask me what amp i use this is it everything that i record recently is through this amp i just mic it and I use it. This is the Spark Amp by Positive Grid. Before this amp, I was using this. Can you imagine? This is the Squire Champ 15. And um, I recorded some covers. The Black Magic Woman cover was on this. The Slow Dancing in the Burning Room cover was on this. The Little Wing cover was on this. <laughs> and I've done some pretty um, decent stuff with this amp with a small practice amp so either i either use this or i use a vetro amp like like the stl amp hub by stl tones so um that is what i use and of course butterflies oh i am like a butterfly i change i grow i am beautiful and i have many different facets to me and many different colors so that's why i like the butterfly um and of course, 
sitting pretty is this defender tele du deluxe american pro 2 um one of my favorite guitars i love this guitar look at it <laughs> love 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 it so this is this is the third set um it doesn't really mean much i have a guitar stand here and i have this bench which is a storage bench instead of just wasting this space i could use this as a third set i like this chair it's really comfortable and um i don't know there isn't really much to this set there is a fake plant here because as i said before i cannot maintain a real plant in this in this space there's little or no sound that comes into this room if i open this box there's so much junk inside here <laughs> like cables um strings and stuff that i don't use this is just the stand that i had a carpenter a local carpenter here make for me he did an okay job um i have my epiphone Sheraton pro 2 here i have my fender i think this is the fender cd 60 se and then this is the uh, fender strat acoustic i don't know what fender was thinking when they made this guitar but i think they stopped <laughs> they stopped this line they stopped making it you guys know this white one and i'm a telly girl and this is one of my favorite guitars this is the fender player telecaster in um some kind of off-white color i don't know i can't remember what this color is it's made in mexico and this one here is actually my first guitar um it is daniel's i i don't think that it's the actual daniel's i think this is a knockoff of the actual daniel's it's just so hard to get rid of it because it's it's part of my story when i was a little girl going to school i would enter this kind of um they call it molue here this kind of lorries and it is just a little reminder of where I'm coming from. And, you know, growing up in Lagos, the hustle, the bustle. So it just kind of reminds me of that, keeps me grounded. Um, I like having it here. Yeah, my YouTube award presented to me for passing 100,000 subscribers. My setup for lighting. Um, I have two sub boxes and one really beat up ring light sometimes i use the ring light sometimes i don't because i think that the ring light can be very sharp and just really harsh for audio like as i'm speaking now i'm speaking into the sennheiser mk 600 and then that is going into the zoom h6 and um, when i'm playing i am i'm recording the audio separately like the video separately i never use the the audio from the from the camera i i record simultaneously into pro tools as i'm doing the video so a lot of the times i mic the spark and then the mic goes into my interface and then the interface goes into my computer i record with the canon m50 so that's all that i use that's my little setup there isn't really much to my space <laughs> it's actually really cool because I have my own space. I do not used to have this little things that I hear right now. It, I'm I'm so grateful that I ha I have somewhere that I can create. I can make videos. I can make music, and that is all that matters. Um, small space, big space, um, it big gear, little gear. It doesn't really matter. What matters is. Um, what you're creating what you're making out of what you have i don't think that you have to have the most expensive stuff in the world to make music i'm really grateful that you guys stuck around to see my little space i don't know how long i'll be here for but i know that i'm going to make the most of it while i'm still here i did not soundproof it or do anything so it's not treated it's not soundproofed because i just feel like if i'm not here for so long i don't want to make that kind of investment yet thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye